I'm coming in loud and clear. Might hear me on the radio. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Anybody got their ears on? Hey guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. Check it out. Got the new studio. Wanted to have a new TV antenna for it. This was actually a really good deal. It's a five-star antenna, and it's, I don't know what model, oh, FSA 5812. Obviously, some assembly required. It's supposed to be about the length of this table when it's all the way set up, but it is UHF and VHF and FM. So let's go ahead. We'll open it up. We'll lay it out, and I'll go through assembling it with you. And in part two, oh, that's cool. So it came with a lot of wiring. That's awesome. And even has like brackets to uh, attach it to the side of your house. So it came in parts. Now there's two models you can get of this. Um, one is just the antenna. The other one, the one I got, has this, which allows you to mount it to the side of your house. I have two antenna masts out here, but I don't have any place to put another antenna on it. I had originally hoped to put this thing on a rotor, but what I'm gonna do and I'll do this in part two, is I'm going to set it up on a post, on a pole, and I'm going to rotate it around and get the best signal so I know, and then I'll look and I will lock it into place. There are programs you can use that will give you, um, you know, directions to, hey, here's where the strongest signal is. What I've found is that that's a good guideline. It's a good basis point, but a lot of times the best signal for your property may not actually take into account terrain issues or trees or stuff like that. So you may not really, if you just go with that and, and lock it down, you, you may not be getting the best signal that you can. Um, I will say overall it's very lightweight, but it's aluminum, it's supposed to be. So here we go with that. The kit also, I didn't notice this when I first had it, comes with a splitter so you can hook this to two TVs. Now I am going to be hooking this to a preamp. I recommend if you live anywhere outside of a city, that a preamp is gonna be such a improvement on the quality of the signal you get. And I've got an RCA one that I got for like 17 bucks. We're gonna hook that up as well. All right, let's do this. It does have a content package, 200 mile range. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so um, nuts and bolts are in here. Go ahead and open this up. This is the other half of your J-pole here that we're going to be using later on. But here's all our nuts and bolts here. Oh, actually, those are just bolts for, for that. Here's the bolts that we need. Sorry. Overall, I'm liking the quality of it. I was a Radio Shack antenna guy forever. But, um, you know, they're gone, so I was trying to figure out what to use next. It looks like a lot of these just kind of snap into place, right? This folds out. Okay, then we have our front half here, and it looks like we're going to be putting this blocking plate in place. So this is going to be in here to, uh, to help reinforce all this. And we are using two bolts to hold all that in. So that's going to sit like this with those blocks in place. And I'll put one underneath. There we go. It's actually a really nice little kit. It's amazing. Like when I bought I bought a uh, Radio Shack UV-190. It was the best antenna they made back in the day. Got that for the first house we lived in. And of course, it came in a box that was probably 12, 13 feet long. But we don't have that anymore because everything is shipped to us. So trying to ship something this length would be quite a problem. And so the fact that we can get away with not doing that is pretty nice. All right, the second side here. Let's snap those into place. So we'll go ahead and install that. And when I do to tighten this up, I'm not going all the way because I want to be able to slide that other half in. So I'm just going to get it to just where it touches. And then I'll slide this piece in. Well, I'll say installation or assembly of this doesn't seem to be difficult at all. It also is it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Quite a bit, I would say. 
This part here is a little bit difficult to see exactly where they want it, but these brackets right here go right there. There's one more hole on there, so we're going to put that in. The picture on there is not, not great. It's not as good as it could be, that's for sure. But I understand what they were trying to get at. All right, and then we have these last two wings here. They're going to slide in here. These are the reflectors for the UHF part of this. And so we'll go ahead and install those two, and then we are ready to mount this thing. This is not a difficult assembly. I've put together some antennas over the year that will about give you a headache. This, thankfully, does not appear to be one of them. I like the fact that you don't need any tools at all to put this together. You actually just use the thumb screws. Butterfly nuts there are really convenient for this. And that's it. Nice. So that's not a small antenna. That's about a 48 inch antenna, I think is what it calls for. And uh, yeah, so VHF, VHF, UHF. And here's where our antenna leads are gonna go to right there. So pretty cool setup. And of course, here is our U-bolt. We're gonna attach our J-pole to that. That would be this right here. So I'm not gonna attach that right this second because again, I wanna hook up um, and, and make sure that I have the exact spot. All right, so I got it up on the mast. You can see it right there. I'll walk around here. Now, it's not finalized. If you can see right below the antenna, I do have an RCA preamp that I'm going to be hooking in line. But for the purpose of testing this thing out for y'all, I just wanted to show it the way it comes out of the box. I am in a deep or extreme fringe area, technically speaking. I shouldn't get any channels. So it'll be interesting to see what we get. I've got it pointed towards um, Johnson City. Tennessee, which is about 35 miles by, you know, straight line. So we're going to see if it can pick up any of those signals with the much larger antenna that is down at the house, which is probably, oh, I don't know, 100, 150 feet lower than this. Uh, I get um, 11 channels intermittently. Uh, three of them I get pretty good. Two of them I don't get very good. And there's four that is seasonal. Sometimes they come in, sometimes they don't. Summertime, which we're still in summer right now, these channels do tend to come in a little stronger. So, all right, let's go in and do a channel scan. I'm kind of excited to see how this thing performs. Very good price on this. Got it refurbished, so saved a little money on it, but it was absolutely perfect. Uh, just All right, we're going to do a channel scan and see what we come up with. I'll zoom in a little bit on that. And I'll fast forward it from here on out so you guys don't have to sit for the whole minute or so it takes this TV set to uh, scan. But I'm curious. Cool. So it looks like we're looking at 22 channels. Obviously height is definitely helping this antenna out. That's really good. Now whether or not they're high quality, we'll see if they're cutting up or whatnot. But we'll do a roll quick. I got to be careful with copyright, so I'm going to turn the volume down here. All right, I'm going to turn the volume way down and we'll just go through here. So channel five, that's our only VHF channel. Oh, cool. Comet TV has great stuff on it. X-Files, Farscape. That's a good channel to have right there. Not sure what that channel is. All right, channel 11. This channel chops up real bad. So on the TV down there, let's see if this one comes in. All right, yeah. Doesn't seem to be chopping up at all, really. Cool. Cool. This also, channel 11, I think, is, yeah, MeTV. And that's a great channel. A lot of classic look. There's I Dream of Genie there. All right. Now, this channel does not come in down at the house. Cozy. Hey, look at that. Another MeTV. So if one doesn't work, the other one does. And there's no chop. There's no breakup, digital breakup. Man, Smoking the Bandit. I mean, part three, but still, oh, it looks like I missed it. Oh, what a bummer, man. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good show. Ion Mist, MacGyver, love MacGyver's good. Start TV, so these are all new to me. I'll have to uh, do some research and see. Looks like a channel that just dedicated to movies, that's cool. Court TV, I don't usually like watching that channel. PBS, all right. A North Carolina PBS. Maybe. Looks like not coming in. 
Interesting. Okay, so they're here, but not, not coming in. So apparently they were coming in, and then they stopped coming in after the scan, or there's a signal, but maybe there's nothing broadcasting. I don't know. That's weird. 39, I don't know what channel 39 is either. I don't think I ever had access to that. So these are all new. So I'm very pleased. D-A-B-L. Charge. Yeah, these are all new channels. TBD. Not sure what any of that stuff is, to be honest with you, but I'm, um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it up at this. Um, it's a very inexpensive uh, antenna. It costs, I think I paid 32 in the end, you know, mid-2023 on eBay for an open box, or refurb as it was called. When it arrived, it had never been, the box had been open, but it had never been assembled. All the things were still in their plastic baggies. You saw how easy it was to put together. And I did buy mine with the mast so that it would be a little easier to mount. And I am very impressed. I'm happy. And I think that this is going to be nice to have up here, to be able to watch the news or TV, have it on in the background there like that. that that's pretty cool. That'll do it for today, my friends. I will make a follow-up video if suddenly the quality or signal uh, goes way off. And I might make a follow-up if I see even larger improvements by adding that preamp. Usually a preamp only helps if you have you know, stations that don't come in very well. So maybe those PBS stations will come in more clearly um, once the preamp's installed. We'll see. Usually you don't bring in any all brand new channels, but it usually helps to solidify what you have. Till next time, my friends. Take care.